After a wet and wild qualifying session, Claire Asir in car number 28 took out the Delano Pole Award, driving for the Lynx women's team, which was formerly known as Alexis Sports. Alexis Rainsford in the past, the uh, twice Master Cup driver who is actually here for the Champ Car race tomorrow, uh, put her name on this team for the past couple of years in order to use her celebrity to get some extra sponsorship for this team. Well, it's clearly worked because the team is now able to support itself, and uh, Alcir, car number 28, is uh, leading right now. She, The French-Canadian rookie has been performing fairly well. Oh, off the track. Get back on. Oh, this oh, Alcir hanging on to that car. car. It's clearly not handling all that well. I wonder if uh, that team wasn't praying for a wet setup. It did rain this morning, so uh, that is certainly a, a possibility. Here's Jacob Card. It looks like he just pushes up the track a little bit into the side of Bobby Teller. Here's James Davison comes spearing across the track right into the side of Card. Davison got hit from behind by Dexter Hamlet. Some people have been very critical of Davison lately. However, that was not his fault. Uh, Davison has been having a very clean weekend so far. Here's Nathan Ferguson. Entered this race. Oh, the championship leader in trouble. He got in uh, some contact with the 997. That's Axel Anderson. Uh, Ferguson rejoins the track into the side of Dermot Scott, and he's around. That's the other Lynx women's team car, the 27. That is um, Collada. Here is Alcir, who is leading the race after the first lap. Whoa, I think they left the wet setup on that car, because Alcir just went way off the track. Smacked into the wall there. They put that wall there in order to keep people from cutting the, cutting the, the chicane there. And uh, the champ cars had that installed, so the TM Lights cars are going to be using that as well this year. Alcir off again. Ryan Griffin in the 18 car. It looks like he might have slid it wide, but Alcir is way off the course. She's going to lose the lead to Griffin. So, Claire Alcir, who's been a bit precipitant over the course of the season, uh, looks like that struck again. Now, we're on board with Cameron Taylor in the 68 car. That's Thurston Blood directly in front of him. You see Griffin is off the road as well in the, um, the 18 car. Now we're going to... Stay on board of the 68 car. Griffin looks like he's he's way, way out of line. Griffin off the road. He's missed the racing line by quite a bit. Thurston blood off. Cameron Taylor picks up second. Cameron Taylor now having a look at uh, Ryan Griffin in the 18. Griffin overshoots turn one a little bit. Here comes Taylor trying to get a run on him around the outside. Alcir still in the mix, though, in that 28 car. Brandon LaRoe, I see in the background, moving up in car number 33. So, uh, looks like Griffin is sliding wide. Oh, Griffin off. T Cameron Taylor moves into the lead. Here's Lero the aforementioned Brandon, uh, Brandon Lario in the uh, car number 33. He's gotten around Thurston Blood in the number one, of course, Thurston Blood, last year's champion. Here is Cameron Taylor as he enters turn one. But Ryan Griffin just comes in there like a maniac, sli slams to the back of him. Claire Osir must have been using the 18 car as a braking reference because the 28 car just spun and hit the wall. So, um, Ryan Griffin, not exactly the most sportsmanlike maneuver, and I don't think that'll make anyone too happy. Griffin, car number 18, has not exactly been covering himself in too much glory. There was a little incident between him and uh, Ali Collada in practice, uh, which I don't think he uh, took responsibility for. Here is Nathan Ferguson, who just pitted, uh, comes back onto the racetrack. However, Cameron Taylor takes the lead of the race in the 68 car. This is the Dan Timothy team. and but Oh, Taylor's blown it! He's, oh, he just break too late to turn one, and Griffin has now got hit by uh, Ferguson in the number four car. Ferguson to lap down, just uh, got into the back of Ryan Griffin in the 18, and turned him around. Now here is Taylor again, still in the lead of the race, but he is sliding. This must be still very wet on the track, because he just slid wide, and Thurston Blood has now assumed the lead of the race in car number one. Uh, here is Cesar Villanova in car number eight. Gets, uh, runs into the back of uh, Ferguson. The four car goes off the track. There's been a lot of rumors that Villanova could be replaced by Arturo Ortega as uh, early as, well, Darlington, the next race. But uh, Cesar Villanova not exactly been covering himself in too much glory. But, uh, well, he currently sits last in the championship, so I don't think that's uh, doing his reputation a whole lot of good. There is the 11 car of uh, Justin Robinson sliding off the track. Now, uh... Villanova has been in the running for more points, but uh, just hasn't really uh, come to show and hasn't had much to show for it. Here's Thurston Blood sliding it off the course again, and a lot of people doing this. Uh, mostly towards the front of the field, I've noticed. Not too many people towards the back. Oh, look out, look out, look out! Just cut off Cameron Taylor! I would have to say that's 
kind of a racing incident, but at the same time, when you go off the track, it's kind of your responsibility to merge onto the track properly. I think he just made a bit of a mistake. But in that exchange, Brandon Lario has taken over the lead of the race in car number 33. The afterburner car has not exactly been very quick this year, and uh, he hasn't made too many friends. But talk about not making friends, the Caesar Villanova and Cameron Taylor not playing nice with each other. Villanova escorts Taylor into the wall, and the stewards escorted Villanova to the stewards' office after the race. Uh, Cameron Taylor, unfortunate incident early on, eliminates him from any shot of victory after he had a very good car. Tiffany Matthews, car number 16, slides off, slides into the side of Ryan Griffin. Uh, Tiffany Matthews has sort of uh, self-styled herself uh, a little bit as sort of uh, the next Alexis Rainsford, I guess. Uh, I think the red hair kind of uh, tips everyone off. Alexis Rainsford, uh, I think, was kind of amused when I asked her that question the other day in the uh, Champ Car Paddock. Uh, Rainsford actually starts uh, 11th in the uh, Champ Car race, in case anyone was uh, wondering how she was doing over there. Still has only five points to her name in that series. Here's Justin Robinson, who uses Buffy Borinaz in the 24 car as the brakes. Not exactly a brilliant move there from the Unit 11 driver. Here is uh, Troy Adams, car number 9, and he has assumed the lead of the race. There goes Ryan Griffin off the... Or no, he's assumed second place. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, Ryan Griffin has been uh, all over the place, and Troy Adams has taken full advantage. Quan, Quan Singh, car number 3, one of the quickest cars on the racetrack. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Brandon Laroe in car 33 in the lead of the race. He's got a big lead, but if he keeps doing that, he's going to quickly lose it. He's clearly make, he's clearly abusing his tires too much. Oh, back in, into the uh, back end of the 05 RB car of um, Andrea Kinasa. Tiffany Matthews in car 16 is going to try to run down uh, uh, Troy Adams, I think, or is Troy Adams behind her? I think, yes, that is Adams behind Tiffany Matthews there. Thomas Cade in the 15 car has now set fast slap of the race in the uh, car number 15. Uh, he's really been very quiet, and uh, we haven't given a whole lot of screen time, unfortunately, during this season, but, uh, well, um, in our defense, he does have one of the ugliest cars on the grid. Anyway, back up here with Tiffany Matthews in uh, second place. Gotten back by Troy Adam. Oh, contact with the uh, 05 car of Kinas, who's not exactly the most... Uh, courteous of people when being lapped uh, as Troy Adams takes full advantage and now Adams chases down the 33 car Brandon Laroe uh, in the uh, this uh, at the afterburner motorsports car but he hits the pit lane on lap tw on lap 22 so he uh, dives into the pit lane early here is as again who is gonna put trying to put on one hot lap to try to get in front of Laroe there's not too much time left in this race but uh, Troy Adams in car number nine uh, trying to work uh, work magic through pit strategy. Here is Nasu Sunamachi, who is in the Altamont Autosport car, has been working his way forward. That team from Northern California, so this is uh, pretty much a home race for that team. Here is car number 16, Tiffany Matthews, who pits on lap 23, along with Sunamachi in the uh, 5 car. There's been a pretty good battle between those two cars. Sakura Matoko in the 40 car also hit the pit lane with them. She's looking very good as far as the championship is concerned. Now, uh, Brandon Laroe has dropped way down the order due to slow pit work, but he just missed turn one. Now, there's some damage, I think, on the back of the uh, 16 car. We're going to try to get a look and see where that came from. Here's Jim Hayes and John Jefferson. Whoa! Jim Hayes just didn't even come close to making that. Anyway, Troy Adams leads in the closing stages of the event with Nasu Sunamachi a very distant second in the car number five. Now, here is Sunamachi. He's gotten around Tiffany Matthews. After Matthews had some contact with another car before uh, uh, the pit cycle. But Tsunamachi in car number five. Uh, whoa, sliding that car around a bit. He's been doing a very good job. Here is Buffy Borinaz in the 24 car who's worked her way up to third. That's Afsal Tamid in the grass over there. Oh, fine. Looks like Buffy Borinaz is going to mimic Tamid. Go into the grass. Uh, Thomas K just went by. There's Brandon LaRoe. And that is like Durbin in the 08 car going off. But Durbin rejoins. No relation to the former Master Cup champion there. Thomas Cade has gotten around that battle, and he has now assumed third place, the final podium spot in the uh, closing stages of the event. But he's anyone here at second because Nasu Sunamachi in car number five lost the engine in that car. So Nasu Sunamachi, after a brilliant run today, it all went up in smoke with just two laps to go. Troy Adams in car number nine went pretty much unopposed to the end of the race, and Troy Adams took his first team lights victory here at Portland in front of the champ car people, which uh, 
no doubt there's some uh, people that were very impressed with his drive today. Thomas Cade, another great um, great run for the rookie. Ike Durbin, car number 08. A lot of people we didn't really get to talk too much about because of the uh, length of the race. Uh, Zach Gott had a pretty strong run in the gravity car, number 71. Brandon Lario in the uh, 33 car, also uh, a pretty solid run despite not having uh, all well, the cleanest race today. Also, Justin Robinson, the 11 car, James Davison, uh, Dermot Scott, Quan Singh in the uh, 3 car, the Aztec car, Dax Ramlett, Sakura Matoko in the 40 car has got to be feeling very good about the championship, but Matoko's probably the favorite to win it at this point. Uh, Mark Blackwell in the 22 car was the last car on the lead lap, and Nathan Ferguson in car number 4, that's how you win a championship, is to uh, soldier along and try to pick up minor points when things aren't going well, as he winds up taking home the final point in 20th place. And uh, as we enter Darlington, let's have a look at the Drivers' Championship for the Team Lights. And you'll notice that Ike Durbin sits on top of the points charts with 169 points to Sakura Matoko's 167. Ike Durbin wouldn't be leading the championship if Sakura Matoko didn't use the 40 car as a weapon under caution at Peoria. She was docked 30 points for that. So Matoko, you can tell, that is pretty much the best car on the grid at the moment, we believe. Brian Morris in the 14 car, Thomas Cade in the 15 also are legitimate contenders as well, and so is pretty much everyone in the top 10. However, I would believe the top 7 or 8 are the ones you're going to really have to keep an eye on. I don't think Quan Singh or Ali Kalata in the 27 are going to be able to make a serious impression on the title run, but there are still many races to go.